is SoFi a buy at current levels? This is the monthly chart. And price did form a monthly bias level at 450. You have this drop basin candle, then the rally. Price hit this $8 resistance level, which should be support now. Came back down to retest that level to pick up any remaining unfilled orders, and then shot as high as 11.75, breaching the $10 support, which became resistance. But the question is, is so far a buy at current levels? Now you can't deny that price did violate the downtrend and on this move higher pull back and the close back in the end of July wasn't an uptrend however this week if it closes below these two pivots at around eight dollars that's going to violate the uptrend so the question is, is SoFi a buy at current levels? Well, let's get into some of the fundamentals. After hitting the public markets in June of 2021, SoFi hasn't really panned out as hoped for investors. Still, share prices made a partial recovery. This year, trading up 98% and crushing the comparable return of the NASDAQ by a wide margin. SoFi's latest momentum is impressive. Revenue in the second quarter jumped 37% year over year, coming in a little shy of $500 million. And the current customer base of $6.2 million is up 44% from Q2 of 2022. Management even went so far as to raise guidance for the full year. Executives now expect adjusted revenue to be over $2 billion at the midpoint. Here's the catalyst coming. With payments on government bank student loans set to resume after three years of pauses due to the pandemic, some investors are hoping that SoFi business gets a boost. The company's goal is at its founding was to make college easier to afford. And while student loan refinancing have taken a hit, they are poised to bounce back. And that could result in greater revenue or not. One of the key stories of 2023 thus far involved concerns early in the year about the solvency of some regional banks, which revealed how unsound a select few banking institutions were. SoFi proved to be a safe haven for investors in the troubled institutions. SoFi's deposits increased from $7.3 billion at the end of 2022 to $12.7 billion as of June 30th. Again, student loans is going to be a theme moving forward for SoFi, which used to be a large portion of SoFi's business, has taken a back seat to personal loans. Personal loan originations have soared. Since the start of 2022, the business has approved 16.5 billion of these loan applications, accounting for 79% of SoFi's total lending activity during that time. We keep hearing the recession word, the big R word, going into next year. Who knows what's gonna happen? SoFi is originating a lot of personal loans at the time when the U.S. economy remains in an uncertain place. If there's a mild recession, then the company could see its losses rise quickly as borrowers struggle to pay back these unsecured loans. So going back to the charts, is SoFi a buy at current levels? And my answer is no. It is not fundamentally nor technically. Again. We are going to close below this support resistance band at $8. We are in the process of breaking what was an uptrend. And so the risk is to the downside. You do have a gap at $7, but you also have three consecutive green extended range candles, which means that there are no buyers, which means that price could collapse back to the monthly bias level. And if it did, 
this will be an opportunity to back up the dump truck. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, please like the video.